over on Ashia from Ashley Zoe on YouTube and AshleyZoe.com. Uh, this will be my oh mascara on my fingers. <laughs> Got blisters on my fingers. Please tell me you know what that's from. Alright, so this is my complete uh, all over makeup. I'm not sure what I'll call it yet. You will see when you're watching this video. I simply just did my base, so my foundation, my contour and my highlighting powder, all that stuff. Um, and afterwards I did my eyeshadow, my brows and my lips. That wasn't in the tutorial. It was just what I do to have my flawless flawless foundation base and what I do to achieve it um, but this is it I will list all the products below that I've used and if you want to see how I did the rest of this look uh, just comment below and let me know say hey hey girl hey girl 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 do that tutorial do what you did in the rest of your face just film a video for me I'll be like um stop being so pushy Matches jokes. I'll film that for you. Anyway, let's get into the anyway. Let's get into this tutorial, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Bye. So first of all, I've just moisturised. Obviously, I'm applying the Napoleon Primer. This is the uh, for the oily skin primer. I am prone to having oily skin. So just apply that all over. Some people use a brush, but my hands are clean. Then I take my RCMA translucent powder, just a big powder brush, and I kind of push it into my skin. Get some more powder. Whoa, that's a lot of powder. Too much. Knock that back, put some in, and it might be a bit overkill, but I just know how oily I get, and I'm really trying to create that base, that canvas, and I want it as flawless as it can be before I put on all those products. Otherwise, my skin is just going to go, bleh, it's going to melt off. So, I just kind of put it where I know I'm oily, which is a little tiny bit here, but mostly here and here. Like, I'm so gross, like right here. Alright, for concealing, I'm using... Oh god, there's powder all over me. Oh god. Oh, oh no! It's all over me. So that's a powder, that, <laughs> that translucent powder. Just be careful with because it goes all over you. So for concealing for under eyes, I'm using the Napoleon One Concealer. The, sorry, Napoleon The One Concealer. And I love this stuff. So I just get the tiniest, tiniest bit. My finger. And I just put that under here under my eyes and I put it over the eyelid as well because I will put eyeshadow on and I want that as like a very very plain base before I put any of that on so you can see already the effect of that concealer like how well it works I love it so now we're going into foundation. I am using the Shine Free Fit Me foundation in the foundation stick, and I'm using color 230, uh, natural buff. And I put this all over my forehead to begin with, so I don't want it to dry out too fast. And I smooth it out with my finger. And people are probably thinking, what are you doing? You're not supposed to do foundation with your fingers. It's I. It's how I do it. And I feel that it works best. I tried just blending it straight out straight away with the Beauty Blender. It just didn't work for me. Then I'm taking the Mecca Cosmetica um, blending sponge. And I blend that out, just the, the section that I've done. Because I don't want it to set, like, all fingery and gross. Okay, and I take the foundation down the right side of my face. 
and on top of my nose a little bit around here and then I go down my neck and blend that out sure if I'm a fan of this sponge yet. I bought it because my beauty blender was um, a bit how you going. It was pretty gross. And then I went when I went and I got a face mask the other day. I'm just going to go through, interrupt myself, and go the other side of my face now. When I got the Mecca Cosmet, sorry, when I got the Glam Glow mask from Mecca Cosmetica the other day, I was like, oh, do you sell beauty blenders? And she was like, oh. Nah, I think she, I feel like she did, but she just wanted to sell me the Mecca Cosmetica one. But that's alright, I'll try something different. So I grabbed the Mecca Cosmetica um, Beauty Blender, their sponge, and it's really, um, it's really tough, it's really hard. And you obviously still put the water in, you squeeze it out and stuff and use a towel. But it's like, I feel like I'm punching myself when I do it, like, where's it gone? There it is. It's just so tough and it's got this metal this metal ring. Then I go through and I blend out this side of the face. Yeah, but I feel like I have to push so hard and I, I'm punching myself, especially when I get down to my throat. You can hear my voice change. Oh, blend, blend, blend. I'm loving this Shine Free Fit Me Foundation. Then, then to highlight, I take the Napoleon Purtis Yellow Mellow Mighty Concealer Pen and just twist that out a bit. And I'm going to do that in the Hollywood V that Napoleon Purtis would say. And just pop that up there. Really want to highlight. Then I go down the bridge of my nose. I go in the top brow section. I don't know what that's called. And then I go above my brow to highlight. And then more highlighting. I go a little bit on my forehead, just a little. I don't want to too high up because it accentuates your forehead and I've already got a five head. I do my upper lip and then I do my chin just a tiny bit and then I do this. I do a lot of highlighting, just a little bit there. Most people don't do that but dash is me. And then because my forehead always seems to dry out the fastest, I blend that out first and then do my brows. It doesn't really matter what order you go in. <laughs> That's when I take the translucent powder again and make sure that it's all underneath my eyes and it's not going to crease. Oh, see, this is what happens. Okay, normally before I do my bronzing, I put on my eyeshadow just to. I, I like to, I don't know, I don't want to make my bronzer too much, too much darker than my eyeshadow, if that makes sense. But this is what I'm going to do now. So to bronze, sorry, to contour, I'm going to use the Milani Bronzer All Over Glow in XL. And I'm just using a small um, powder brush. Just put that in my cheeks. You can do a fishy face if you want. Contour that there. Contouring is my friend. I put this just next to the eyes, just a little bit above the highlighting I did on the cheek. I do it in my top right forehead a little bit. 
not too much. You don't want to look like an umpa again. And then with the excess, I just do my chin and just go down my neck. And then I get the absolute tiniest, tiniest bit. Um, I hold the brush like this, so it's like a fan. And then I just go down the sides of my nose. Not that my nose really needs contouring. Am I out of focus? Okay, I'm in focus. Just go down the sides. And then I go through and see if I need to do any more contouring. And that is my complete full face foundation tutorial. I haven't done my brows or my mascara or anything. I'll go ahead and do that now, but I just simply wanted to show you how I did my base and then we just build around it. I don't wear any blush ever. Um, I just, ever since I knew how to contour, that's just what I do. But I'll go ahead and do the rest of my makeup now and then I'll show you the finished product. So I hope you enjoyed this video of me doing my complete full foundation look. Um, I have finished off with red lips and I've done a little bit on my eyes, not really much, just a neutral kind of look and I've done my brows, I'll be a sly. Hey, it's Ash. For some reason, my camera decided to stop halfway through telling you guys goodbye. So, oh god, I'm falling, I'm laying on my bed. On another note, does anyone want like a little room tour, house tour? I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to like and subscribe so you can see all the other videos I put up or else. And check out my website, ashleyzobby.com, for any stills of this look and other things I update. I will see you on my next video. Bye.